Hello, collective. Welcome back to the Ascended Divination for this channel. You are greatly appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your family. As always, I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call you in the appearance of heart light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy is stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemy against you are dismantled and being dismantled as you speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Um, for a king of swords, I think king of pentacles energy. Um, I think it was either my last ray or the one before. There was something that came out about you having a king of cups in your energy that you need to be aware of. Um, and I'm being told to tell you that this king of cups, I think this is some, I don't think this is a brother. I think this is someone that maybe you see as a brother or you treat as a brother. Um, but this is someone you need to be, um, careful with. Uh, this is someone I think that comes from like a religious background. Maybe the both of you come from a religious background. Um, this is someone that really pretends like someone has been wearing a mask their whole life, especially when it comes to you being around you. Someone is not, I'm hearing a supporter. He's not a supporter of you. Like it's a lot of jealousy and animosity. Um, what I picked up on was like two gentlemen that had kind of grown up together one may be uh you know tall good looking with the money like you he he feels like you have everything and then he he may be i don't know if he's like shorter than you maybe not as successful as you or something like that but there's some type of animosity this man has towards you and has been uh pretending to be genuine with you for a very long time um there's something about like you wanting to i don't know talk or give to a feminine energy and he does not want you to he is bothered by this woman i don't know if it's that this woman's energy there's something about her energy. It's like someone, the woman that you are interested in either working with or giving to, whatever it is, they're authentically in the upright, authentically uh, divine energy. Your friend has been pretending to be divine. He's not. Um, he puts on like this show when you are around that he supports you. He speaks very highly of you, but it is someone that gossips about you when you're not around. There's something where he's getting like readings on you to see what it is you are planning to do if you are planning to go towards this feminine energy and he's doing things to make sure that you don't make it to this person. I don't know if there's a car tempering or something. The temper he's trying to temper with something or he's planning to temper with something so that you don't go towards this woman or whoever this is. Um, so you may want to be careful, but this is someone that is either i don't think you're related to this person but this is someone you treat as a family or you see them as a family you probably always looked out for this person but the the feelings are not reciprocated someone does something to you from behind the scenes may even be trying to steal from you may have been stealing from you just be very careful is what I'm being told to tell you. But someone's getting readings on you to be able to stay a step ahead of you. Um, just to make sure that you don't go the direction that you want to go. There's something also I'm being told that though, I don't know if you're dating like a queen of pentacles. She and this man have been working together behind the scenes to stop your forward movement as far as you getting into either another partnership or giving something to any to another feminine energy whatever this is um so maybe it's something you're not aware of or maybe it's something you need to consider but there's something where it's like some type of sick collaboration between 
him, the woman you are either with or were recently with, something like that, um, and a few other people that have been working together to make sure that you don't go towards another energy. It's like they, I don't know if they groom this woman to act like she cares. It's like this is what he likes. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to say. Uh, if he's thinking about going to her, then you do this and then it's going to draw him back in. It's something like that. Like it's really just eerie, but I'm being told to tell you to be careful because, um, there is something where it's being orchestrated, like some type of gatekeeping. And the man you consider to be your brother is the head of the pack. It's a, uh, alpha of the pack, wolf pack, when it comes to stopping you from giving, to whoever it is you are intending to give to now i see whatever this intent is that you have coming out here so i'm going to take this out because i think this is like telling them what it is that you plan to do and i don't want them to find out what it is you're going to be doing because i think there's something someone has been doing something malicious for a long time that you're not privy to this game out sideways so it is a queen of pentacles that you've been dealing with uh, there is in some type of remorse. Maybe you already left this woman or you're planning on leaving her. She's been trying to do everything to keep you with her because this is a woman that likes to be taken care of, but she's not exactly uh, emotionally balanced. Okay, she's not exactly emotionally available. She's not emotionally intact. This could even be someone that is into, like, I don't know if it's like open relationships or. It's something where she has wants to have her cake and eat it too. Or it could be that she is, I don't know, if like she's into like other, like the same, same sex or something like that. Whatever it is, there's something about this woman that is just not, it makes, like it makes someone like me feel really uncomfortable. There's something really eerie. It's like, it's like when you, when I pick up on your energy and her energy, it's like you feel trapped with someone. <clears throat> or it's like you, you're trying to... Like, I feel like you're someone that, don't, that doesn't like to rock the boat. I don't think you're a pushover, but I think you're someone that doesn't like to rock the boat. But this woman is someone that knows, like, what to say and do to keep you in line. Um, and she's been working with people behind the scenes. She's been paying. It could be the King of Cups that you've been looking out for your whole life. Or somebody else that she's been paying to help them trap you and stop you from taking some type of new direction in your life. And put an ending, right, to all of your decision making when it comes to starting over or something like that. Like, Whoever this woman is that you are with is absolutely dreadful. I don't know how you've been able to put up with this for, I don't know how long <clears throat> you two have been together. I'm telling you, she's paying someone else to come to the woman that you are interested in. It's a go give them this offer so that he doesn't come in and give her an offer. Uh, give her, like, be her friend or... You know, give her a love offer, something like that, right? Come come out like as a, a cup. Give her like a, a genuine friendship genuine friendship, but it's not really genuine, so that she can have this first start with you. That way he'll stay with me or he and I can reconnect. It's something like that. So be careful. You could be an emperor and you're someone that's hoping and wishing to have some type of rendezvous. And I don't mean inappropriately, I just mean like a meeting. Like you want to have a meeting with a star energy. You may want to communicate with them. And this woman knows that. And she may be very angry and jealous about you taking this new path again. The cards came out of the scene. She's angry and jealous of you taking this new path, this new direction. You self-actualizing and seeing things like you're supposed to. Which means you, you're putting an end to some type of contract that you have with her. And this has been a very karmic and toxic contract. I don't know if you've been pretending to be happy with this woman. I don't know if you've been pretending to keep uh, some type of, uh, um, 
like for like you've been keeping some type of facade to your family the community you want them to believe that you and this woman are happy together or you've been happy together but you've been miserable in the relationship the whole time it's something like that she's been paying people behind the scenes to do something to come towards this person you see as a queen of wands who is in the upright okay this is someone that is uh tempered uh someone that acts with integrity uh someone that you know I think like with this justice behind this woman, this is someone that tries their best to do things the right way or walk life on the right path. Um, not to say that everybody's perfect. I'm sure this Queen of Wands has things about her. It could be a man too that are not exactly up to part like everybody else. But this is someone that typically tries to do things the right way and this could be someone that you want to give to you may so you're walking away from this woman that has been paying other people to do stuff behind the scenes to block your forward movement uh you could be walking away from her and this is going to be your justice like you're freeing yourself from this woman is what i'm picking up on like you're freeing yourself from her going to be starting over and she does not want that to happen so I'm just being told to tell you to be aware of or be vigilant of the king of cups that's in your energy. I'm telling you, king it's a king queen of wands you're trying to partner up with. So it's someone you find to be very beautiful, uh, a bit feisty, a bit of a firecracker and things like that. And I think maybe you understand why this person is this way because I'm seeing this four of pentacles in reverse here, which means that it's to someone is being set free like they're letting go or they're moving on with their life or at least they're trying to move on with their life but something is being released that either belongs to a queen of wands it's like maybe this woman has been paying people to take from this queen of wands and maybe you weren't aware or it's like a group of people that have been taking from this queen of wands and you haven't been aware um trying to block this person's abundance their connection to source all kinds of things uh trying to block them from being able to move forward but it looks like all of this is going to co be coming to some type of karmic completion so you may just i don't know uh be very careful because whatever this is was very much orchestrated now, i don't know if you were a part of it and maybe you're deciding to kind of wash your hands off of it or you've been watching a group of people do something for a while because of this queen of pentacles to the knight of pentacles that means that she's paying someone to come towards this woman or something so that means that she's not working alone so when i say group that's what i mean it could be a group of people that have been working together to take from this queen of wands and now something is being set something is being released because they're i don't know what it is it's it's like either this queen of wands determination or tenacity is what i'm hearing or strength or whatever it is um maybe a maybe something that has helped her him whoever it is get to where they are and maybe they expected this queen of wands um to kind of fail at something is that we're gonna keep doing this like they were expecting this person to stop investing into themselves and not listening to their intuition and things like that but it looks like that's not what happened the queen of wands is still moving forward um now whoever this queen of wands is could be someone that is a high priestess because i just saw that high priestess card so this is someone that's intuitively gifted then um and maybe people may be bothered by this woman's intuition or this man's intuition and maybe they've been trying to exile or excommunicate or something about like blacklisting this woman so that she doesn't get some type of yeah get some type of uh work opportunity or get some type of offer from you or anyone else now this queen of wands here that i'm picking up on not the one that you're going towards i feel like there are two different queen of wands in this situation one is someone that is emotionally unstable like there's something very um sinister about this woman um and this is something she's been hiding someone may have trapped themselves into some type of contract um that she's not able to get out of and 
something has caught up to her. I don't know what this is. I don't know if she was in like a competition for something, but it's being exposed that a Queen of Wands reverse is very much, in, much very much envious. Yeah, very much envious and angry that someone else, like a high priestess, is still working or it has something solid coming their way has some some type of commitment coming their way because she's been doing everything behind the scenes to destroy this woman from from receiving anything solid so it's like getting getting the whole clan to come up against one person all based on a lie um and all of this may now be coming back out and hunting this woman or it has her trapped into something that she cannot get out of because she was working very hard to destroy someone else's past, someone else's opportunities, connections, and things of that nature. And it looks like it has come back to cause more damages to her than she anticipated. It could also be that even she's being released. She's being let go either from an institution or from a relationship. She could have been trying to bind someone to some type of toxic relationship and it's uh, coming uh, out to be a problem for her. Um... I also picked up last night, like I had a dream. I dream at the same time every night, the, the, at the same two two different hours. Uh, so I had this dream where it's like this woman, these two people, they got secretly married and they didn't want, I guess, people to know or they didn't want someone specifically to know just yet. What I picked up on is like someone's male twin flame, like, 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 like like there's a twin flame connection. The male is not exactly healed, is not ascending, still in his devilish ways, right? And he goes and gets married to this woman that he doesn't necessarily have a contract with. And he doesn't realize that the people around him and her orchestrated this union. Like they helped her get with him. Like they made her seem like she was more fit for him. Um, and she, but he doesn't know she's just as karmic as he is. But what I think is he was looking for someone to help him heal. And he didn't realize that the woman that he turned down was the woman that was supposed to help him heal, right? So he ends up getting what a queen of cups reverse is what I picked up on in the dream. Now the queen of cups reverse was a woman that's Caucasian and the queen of the, the other woman, his twin flame is someone that is of color, right? Um, so this Queen of Cups has jumped through all types of hoops to make this man see her in some type of lighting that she knows is not hers. Um, just so that she can say that, oh, he chose me. I'm the winner. I'm the better woman. Whole time, the sister does not really care. It's not paying them any mind. She's not in competition with anyone for a man. It's what I got the notion of because when I saw these three people in my dream, the sister was up somewhere else living her life. And these two newly wed or whatever come they, they come into her energy, into her environment because they want her to find out that they got married. And she's just looking at them like, okay. Um, because I think sometimes people take these twin flame connection things a little bit too serious. Yeah, you and someone may be a twin flame, but that does not mean that they're interested in marrying you. It doesn't even mean that as soon as you show up and you give them some type of love offer, they're going to be like, oh my God, just my twin flame. I have to drop everything in my life. I'm not going to accept an offer from anyone else and I'm going to get off my twin flame. <laughs> Especially if someone uh, is spiritually, if it's someone is spiritually uh, awakened, they don't care about twin flames connections. They care about like your your essence, your substance, your mental, your emotions, your spirit, and things like that. Nine out of ten times, uh, 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 someone that's spiritually woke will go will go with a higher level soulmate than they will with a twin flame because the higher level soulmate has done the work to get to um. Uh, the the level that they are the twin flame is typically pretending or refusing to do the work so they're still in like a karmic cycle they're not willing to complete yet so it may be something where it's like they thought coming towards the sister to show her that they had gotten married and he had chosen her over uh the 
the sister, it was going to break her heart. When I tell you this woman in my dream looked like she, 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 I think she was more, she was more bothered with the fact that they were disturbing her peace. Like she didn't care. It's that she wanted to congratulate them, but the energy they came to, towards her with is what made her feel uncomfortable. So she, so she immediately started like getting away from them. But then they start chasing her because they want her to see that they are married. And the whole time I'm watching the three people and I'm just like, what in the world is this nonsense? Like this woman don't care if you got married. And if you're happily married, why does she need to know you're happily married? That lets me know that you two are not happily married. So then it turns into the, to a thing where it's not just the Caucasian woman now trying to piss off the sister to let her know that the man chose her. Now the brother, he's mad because his twin flame does not care that he got married. And that's the thing about spirituality. When you're not awakening, you're not to a specific uh, level, you don't tend to understand like, People that are at that level already know that you have free will to exercise. Like your actions are going to affect you. You're, you're going to learn a lesson eventually about what it is you've done or something. And they're not worried about you being a twin flame. But people that are not as awakening, they think like their actions, what they're doing is having more of an effect on you. But when in reality, it's having more of an effect on them than it is on you. So it's something like that. It's like they're desperate for their sister to find out we got married. He chose me. I chose her. And But it's like if you are truly happy, why are you coming after this woman? Um, but the, the Queen of Cups reversed in my dream. I also picked up on the fact that she knew wholeheartedly that even though he was with her, he was still longing to be with his twin flame. So I think that's part of the reason why she was so pissed up because I saw her doing things behind the scenes to uh, cause problems for the sister. And the whole time, the sister is still not paying her any attention. And she's just like, I don't know what this woman's problem is, but I'm going to keep, you know, staying over here, minding my business. They didn't know the whole time they were married. And I, like I said, when she found out, she didn't care. It was just like, okay, what does this got to do with me? Congratulations. Now, leave me alone. But no, they just, like started chasing her in the dream. Like everywhere she went, they're following her. They're just to make her feel uncomfortable. But she doesn't feel uncomfortable. She just feels bothered with the fact that they're in her energy. They're in her space, in her environment. The fact that they're even bothering her is what I picked up on. So I don't even like, I don't understand things like that. Something I also picked up on is that this Queen of Cups, reverse in my dream this is a delusional person this is like someone that's out here thinking that oh yeah i defeated this woman i stole her her twin flame from her nah like she's about to find out whoever she got with baby good luck that's all i'm gonna say you're gonna need strength it's one of those things where you have women because it's sad because some there are some women that they don't they don't see things clearly they're in competition with every other woman that they come across Especially when it comes to men. It says she saw this man. He's good looking. Maybe he had a few dollars in his pocket or something. And she made sure that he chose her. And she got everybody else around her to help her make sure that he chose her. Not realizing the whole time she's, <laughs> she's putting herself out there for problems. Like Whoever I picked up on this masculine in my dream is like a handsome, a, a, a handsome devil very devilish so anyway good luck with her and him um let's get back to this read with the king of swords um so there could be some type of communication coming in i don't know if like you the king of swords you're trying to communicate with the queen of wands you're going to or you see this person as the queen of cups is what i'm being corrected to say whoever like you find this woman to be attractive but you see her as a queen of cups um, there's some type of communication you are trying to send to this person and there has been interferences. Like when you, I don't know if you tried to mail a letter, email, whatever it is, someone or people have been interfering with this communication. Um, it could also be, I'm picking up on, it's like a whole lot. There's something where it's like a community has been coming after a woman um, I don't know if they thought that you were beneath them or if you 
just was not up to part with something. Um, but they found out now that you are actually true. Let's say like, let me use divination for example. Let's say that you do divination. And maybe because people around you, maybe family, friends, colleagues, they know who you are, right? I mean, not on a personal level, but they are aware of your energy, right? You may be someone that's very young, may come across as naive or something like that, but you're very spiritually gifted. People don't know that. Maybe maybe this is something you hide about yourself. You don't tell people what it is that you have going on. So they find out that you do divination. And because they see you in this young and naive energy, they decide that you're not, uh, you're not legit. You don't have gifts and things like that. So they start doing things to destroy you, uh, block your forward movement and things like that, only for them to find out that you are solid with this eight of pentacles out here, that you actually are solid and you're actually authentic. Your work is authentic with that eight of pentacles to the uh, page of cups here. You are actually authentic and genuine and spiritually gifted, right? So they've gone through all of these hoops to destroy your forward movement, do this, do that. And now they find out that you are the bee's knees, you are the real deal. Now maybe they want to send you some type of communications about what, like we want to work with you, we want to give you an offer. And this is where the the bridge comes in. It's like, um, you mean you don't want to unalive me anymore? <laughs> you mean you don't want to destroy me anymore? And you want me not to partner up with you? How does that work? It's something like that. So you may have also, uh, on, a, on a different end of the spectrum, a queen of pentacles as the head of a community that now wants to send you some type of communication about them wanting to work with you after they've tried and done everything to destroy you, now that they know the truth. And there could be some type of prophecy playing out, maybe some type of karma playing out for these people, a lot of conflict and confusion going on behind the scenes. They want to give you some type of offer, but I don't know if this is a genuine offer because these are people that have been out here trying to destroy you. Remember that, okay? So, it looks like there's a whole lot going on. It could be like uh, a lot of different sectors of a uh, story that I'm picking up on um, because it seems like it's a whole lot coming out. You got the Queen of Pentacles that's emotionally unavailable, that's been with a Queen King of Swords and just there for him to take care of her, but he's not emotionally fulfilled in the relationship. Uh, you got the Queen of Pentacles as the head of a community. Like there's something, there's some type of awakening going on in a community where people are finding out the truth about a situation, what people have been doing. Um, and I don't know if it's to the same energy or this is a lot of you uh, story coming out. Um, maybe people have been uh, attacking you, spiritually attacking you uh, from all different corners, all different sides. And this is what uh, is coming out. So now people have the truth. They know the truth about the whole situation. Everything is coming out. It's like the cat's out the bag. They know who you are, that you are someone in the upright. There could be a, a masculine who's a king of swords, which is probably the one I picked up on that has been with this queen of pentacles. He could also be working with a queen of pentacles um, to do something to another feminine energy, to trap a feminine energy. And maybe he's in remorse for this because of the decision he made. Um, there's a king of swords that is very protective of whoever you are and i don't know if you know who this man is um but he's very protective of you it could be someone that is like maybe he does things from behind the scenes maybe he's protecting you from behind the scenes maybe he has people watching you because he knows what these people are up to it's like someone knowing that you have people out here trying to destroy you, trying to take you out or just cause you problems. And you're just going on about your life and not doing anything to anyone. And maybe he picked up on that and he said, man, this person is by themselves. Like they're after this person for no reason. I got to do something. Because this is someone that may be like a leader of a community that's trying, that does things in the upright or has learned how to do things in the upright. So it could be that he or she is doing things behind the scenes and this could be someone that's gifted as well. 
the only thing is behind the scenes to protect you, secure you, but you don't know who this person is. And I don't know if it's the person that's working with this queen of pentacles. It could be somebody else. Like, I don't know who this king of pentacles is. I mean, king of swords is that's looking out for you. So, uh, just know that there is some way, somehow, somebody that is looking out for you. Uh, and I don't know if you're privy to this person, but... Just be very thankful your ancestors are looking out for you. And uh, this, I think, is through this masculine. This could be someone that's very powerful that you don't even know about. This could be someone that is influential as well. Maybe very wealthy or could be the leader of a community that is maybe looking out for you. And you don't know who he or she is uh, from Adams. And maybe you won't even understand why it is they're choosing to help you or they're looking out for you. Um, cause he may also see that whether you're a man or woman, you've been handling something maybe by yourself for a long time. And he's maybe did some type of investigation because I typically see this man in his King of Swords energy when I'm doing my reads. Uh, and the King of Swords are people that like to get to the bottom of things. So it doesn't matter how long it takes them to get to the bottom of a situation they're going to do it. And if they're able to bring any type of atonement into the situation in the meantime they will do it as it goes so you could be going through something where it said when is this going to be over but you don't realize that there's someone looking into everything that's happening and he knows the truth now that some type of injustice took place right uh and people may be upset that maybe someone uh is seeing you as a solid character i'm telling you this is some this man is in the upright this is a king of swords uh solid character uh maybe protecting you you may want to be careful as well king of swords because there is something especially i don't know who that king of cups is that's in your energy you maybe want you may want to be careful because there's something he's planning to sabotage you like someone betrayed you heavily and i don't think you are aware that he betrayed you heavily but you've still been looking out for this person there's something where people may, uh, it's like people, it's like the group moving on, but there is still someone in the group, this Queen of Wands, and I'm going to call her Queen of Wands reverse with that devil, devilish energy next to her in the Five of Pentacles. She's still trying to hold on to something, so she may even be trying to come into your energy to cause you problems, give you a piece of her mind, have words with you. Don't even entertain this woman in any way, shape, or form. Leave her standing right there and move on with your life. This could be someone that likes to fight. And maybe you're just going to look them up and down and leave them like that's your wahala. You stay right there and you move on with your day. This woman is very angry that you are coming out of the cold. She wants you out in the cold. Like someone is very like bitter, very malicious, very hateful. She hits your light. Um, it bothers her. It's like you, when, when we say your light bothers the demon within them, that's what it is. Your light bothers the demon within this woman. And I don't think it's accidental that the devil's car came after her. And this is someone that's into a lot of manipulation. That like she's secretly watching you. And you could be a queen of swords as well. She's secretly watching you. Uh, trying to figure out something like she's trying to get the the four one one on you, but she's having a hard time finding the four one one. Like who are you in a relationship with? Where are you gonna be working so that she can come in and interfere with it? So you got quite a lot of people that are in, uh, invested in taking you down and just causing you problems for no reason. And I feel like maybe this King of Swords has done enough. Uh, investigation or looking into something that now he understands fully what is going on which is why uh maybe he's taking some type of action i don't know like if this is someone in the police department or this is someone in like the court systems uh, a religious organization something like that but someone is going to take some type of action behind the scenes they're listening to their intuition yeah He's listening to his intuition about you. You could be an empress energy and he may want to connect with you to bring something to your attention that you're not aware of. I'm telling you. Yeah, she's very angry that she's been left out in the cold. Some type of relationship is over 
uh, some type of commitment is over. She's losing everything because of what it is she did to you. Is that someone feel invincible? I don't know if she had like some type of attachment to a wealthy person or an organization and she thought that she was invincible or she wouldn't be facing any type of consequences for what it is that she's been doing to you. But it looks like she's being rejected. Something is over between her and a wealthy man and he's moving on. Uh, what th There's something about a breakup going on in a community and I think if someone is coming towards you to give to you, they're protecting you from this. So it's not that they're, I don't know if it's that, it's not that they're not interested in you, it's that they don't want people to see you as like a home wrecker because you don't have anything to do with this situation that's playing out. You, you're you nowhere around these people. Like with this uh, star out here to the five of pentacles and the, the uh, five of cups, there's some type of distance between what's happening in these people's lives and you. There's a physical distance. There's some type of traveling that needs to take place in order for you and these people to be in the same proximity. So you are not around these people, never have been more than likely for some of you, or you were for a short period of time, but that came to an end. Um, but it's like they've been so focused on you, it doesn't even make sense. But this wealthy man, people are bother about the fact that he is still going to be giving to you it's like they've been trying to make sure that you don't have any solid commitments in your life with the eight of pentacles no type of generosity uh with the six of pentacles no friendships no nothing right no loyalty because you could be someone with this knight of pentacles out here who values loyalty and things like that and you could be someone that's very gifted with this hanging man page of cups Higher fence star out here. You're very gifted, okay? And with the devil out here, you could have a little bit of a darkness in you as well, but it's not something you tend to indulge in a lot. And everybody has a little bit of darkness in them. That is why we have that yin and yang. Energy is balance. The, the universe is big on balance, right? You're not supposed to have more of one thing than the other, whether it's good or bad. It's supposed to be balanced. The universe is all about that, right? Um... So you could be someone that's very gifted because I see a lot of spiritual cards out here. And it may be something that bothers these people, especially this queen of wands, whoever this is. Someone's very dark. She's been dark for a long time, was allowed to be, um, and has been feeling invincible due to her uh, uh, affiliation or her association to an institution. And it's something that she has been abusing for a long time and has misused. And she has lost, like someone is losing quite a lot. She's very angry that she's being rejected. She's very angry that she's being left out in the cold. She's very angry that something is being balanced out for you. And this is how it was always intended to go. So she could still be trying to steal something from uh, whoever this is that's coming towards you. Uh, I, I've picked up on the temperance energy there's something this woman is trying to steal i don't know if she sees the amount of money that's coming towards you or whatever it is and she's trying to figure out how to steal that from you whether that's accessing bank accounts whether that's uh getting into his bank account your bank account whatever it is to make some type of transfer or to steal some type of check or something or block something she's trying to figure out how to steal or uh, how to get away with something but it looks like whatever action she's going to take it's not going in her favor. It's going to lead to problems for her because this is someone that's under judgment for tempering with destiny. Destiny is playing out, which has led to some type of karma playing out as well. This would be someone that's planning some type of malicious attack as well on a queen of source energy. Uh, but this chapter is like almost over or is over, but someone doesn't want to let go. There's a two men being brought into this situation for our Empress energy. And I feel like divine, I mean, I feel like collective, you could be the Empress energy that attunement is being brought into a situation for. So I think you just got to hang in there a little longer. Uh, uh, but something is about to be uh, fixed and balanced out for you. Um, you could be a queen of pentacles energy. And I think someone sees you as a queen of, I think someone sees you as an emperor. So you're, you'll more than likely be showing up in all of these different energies, but you are showing up as a queen of pentacles and you have some type of offer coming to you. 
um, and people don't want you to have it. They've, it's like, you know, like how sometimes you'll put in a lot of effort into something and you are expecting it to go one way. So what I'm picking up on is like maybe a group or someone invested a lot of energy into destroying another energy and they were expecting for things to go their way. But it looks like it's, it looks like they invested in the wrong thing because at the end of the day, whoever this temperance energy is that's in the upright, uh, whether it's a higher level soulmate or just someone that acts with integrity, they're still going to be giving you what it is they want to give you. Um, and this has people bothered because they're looking at all of the efforts they put in to have someone see you, see you as unfit or to have someone leave you out in the cold. So you got people out here that are very angry, very jealous, envious, bitter, and all of that. And that's none of your business to be worried about. Um, I would say you were being set free to be you, to live your life and kind of move on gracefully, like bow out gracefully. And I think also that's something people didn't want you doing is being able to bow out gracefully. Like somebody wanted to basically disgrace you or dishonor you um, in a lot of different ways. I've been having like dreams and premonitions of people like trying to send a masculine to a feminine's house so that he can dishonor her and you know, just beat you bloody to the point where like you will never want to open your mouth again to speak to walk out in public or do anything like you will become like a shadow of who you used to be and this is a feminine energy that's ordering men to come to your house to do this so someone is very malicious and very wicked and you more than likely don't even know who this woman is but there's something where it's that she knows like a man wants to work with you and maybe she's afraid that if this man starts working with you it's going to turn into something romantic uh, and it's going to be something that's successful. So she's been doing things behind the scenes for a long time to make sure that this man doesn't come towards you, doesn't give to you. So she's been causing blockages and still and things like that. But I saw something about a woman hiring a lot of different men. Uh, it says she'll hire one and they'll say they, they can't do it for some reason or they'll change their mind or something happens. Uh, and then they'll, they'll quit or something will happen to them. They either like end up in a car accident, get sick, something happens to them and they don't want to be a part of it and then she'll find somebody else. Like this woman is constantly hiring new people to do some type of dirty work. Um, but I don't think someone understands that you are heavily protected with you showing up out here as this star seed. There's some type of protection on you that Maybe she doesn't even understand. It may baffle her. Maybe because she's done something like this before and it was easy for her to get it done. She's never had a problem with being wicked. Um, but she's having some type of blockages and that's because you are protected. But there's a woman that keeps paying people, like paying men to come towards a feminine energy to do something to them. Is that go to her house, she lives in this community, or go to her condo, go to her apartment. She like she has somehow found your address and she's giving it to these men so that they can come towards you, maybe even break in, surprise you, or something like that, and do you something so that you can lose your essence, lose your energy, you know, that vibe that, that vibrant energy that star seeds tend to have about themselves. She wants that to be like eliminated eradicated like someone is literally just bothered by your light very envious very unstable um and now she's losing everything especially with that four of pentacles reverse and the five of cups the five of pentacles and the, the, someone is very angry because she's losing everything i don't think it's something where it's like she and a a leader sitting and having some type of communication some type of talk and things being mended, it's like, nah, we, we got to let her go. Like, she cannot be part of this institution anymore. We cannot work with her. Like, there's something where she's losing everything, and it is, it is because of what she did to you. And I don't think she expected for this to happen. Someone has been stealing from people for a long time and getting away with it. And there's something where it is that she's in some type of regret for coming after you because there was no reason why. She should have came after you. You don't even know this woman. This would be like, I, I remember I had a dream of a woman. This was like someone who was like, I don't know if she was of Latin culture 
from like uh, South America or something. She had long black hair when I saw her in my premonition and she was wearing like a black dress and she she uh, had like a masculine that was investigating another feminine energy she had never met before. Neither of you know each other. And she was hiring this masculine to look into you, investigate you and all kinds of stuff. Um, so this could be someone like this that's, that's been doing something that she shouldn't be doing. And I think she felt powerful and, it, and it's all because of who she's attached to. It's not because she's gifted. It's not because she's intelligent or anything like that. It's just because of who she's associated with and all of her actions have led to her losing everything. It's that whatever she took from you, she's losing that 10 times over. Um, but this is karma. Life, I, I think people don't believe in karma until it happens to them. And this is what's going on. It's that life is a projection of the energy you put out. That's Darcy that didn't put that energy out. It's just a matter of time before uh, attunement is brought into whatever situation it is that it needs to be brought into. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Stay blessed. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.